lots of truck campers that push up. I would think though that that Alaskan is probably better insulated because these all have this fabric like a like a thick tent fabric. Crazy. Oh, that's an electric motorcycle right there. <laughs> there is an expedition vehicle where the top pops up. Earth Cruiser. real classic version of this solar panels that's a good vehicle it's got everything even a motorcycle in the front there I like that it's a very efficient sportsmobile yeah <laughs> hi there Vans, Be Beartooth Van Works, Montana. Hi. Yeah, I got one of those too. <laughs> well, no, I've got, I got the, got the uh, gimbal. Oh, this is sweet. Ah, this is a sweet setup right there. Cool tent. This is Winnebago's version of a overland vehicle. Oh yeah, here it's got a garage. Bed, bed comes down from up there, uh, but you could load in like yeah, you could load in some stuff. Definitely bicycles and, and things, maybe even a scooter or something. More expedition vehicles.
about 30 minutes left and I wanted to check out these uh, insulated tents here um, that might be interesting for Burning Man something like this shift part 2 Uh, here we have a classic vehicle Mercedes They also have these pretty crazy off-road training courses or experiences This one over here is sponsored by Land Rover I guess um, you can actually drive your own vehicle through here. There's actually a Ford, or the 4x4. Wow, we. He's gonna bottom out. <laughs> that looks quite insane what he's doing. Sounds like a diesel. That Range Rover going over that hump there. Let's take another look at the sports mobile. Good, she made it. Wow. That's some impressive driving there. Good job. Pretty cool stuff. It could be fun doing this. to the side. Yeah. Another view of the 1.5 million dollar earth roamer from the distance. Alright, we're back at the beginning and we've seen quite a lot but not nearly everything and we're gonna head out. So we're done for today. That was certainly very interesting and uh, hope to be back sometime to explore further then because uh, there's a lot more here to see than what you can do in like two and a half hours but uh, nevertheless i'm glad i went i think the way to do this properly to get like full coverage of everything uh, you have to camp out here which i saw is like um i think it's like 300 dollars for the whole weekend uh, but that includes the admission and some other cool things so I think it might be worth it. Might be fun to try this out in the future. Ah! Hey. She, she thought I had her on camera. <laughs> <laughs> 